I did. We can hear sound. Hopefully you can hear sound. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to the first episode of the new D&D stream. This is our new cast of Roll Already, who we'll get to introductions for in a second. I'll let them kind of say hi to everybody. But I'm glad to have you all here. If you are here for somebody specific, you can say hi in chat. The chat will be there both for the live stream, so some of the people are watching the chat and they can respond to you. Other times, uh, it'll still be here as you rewatch the VOD, which if you need to go or anything, you can come pick back up on. Uh, so just so you guys know, there's a little giveaway that goes on every stream. It's brought to you by the wonderful people at Stormcrow Manor. Uh, to partake in this, you can put exclamation point giveaway, all one word, in the chat, and it should, hypothetically, we've been having issues with Streamlabs, it should link so you guys can check that out. But basically, every five minutes, Streamlabs is going to award you a point. If you want to make sure the Streamlabs knows you're active, just type something in the chat every five minutes. You accumulate points at every single stream. Halfway through, we will be giving away, if you put the, the giveaway there, It'll uh, have a little image of this crit die that looks amazing. It always feels weird to say die. I feel like I should be saying dice, but there it goes. So you can check out the link, and uh, it's free shipping from Canada. Uh, so make sure that your country receives stuff from Canada. Otherwise, it makes it a little more difficult. But it's stream exclusive unless you go into Stormcrow Manor up in Canada. So you can check that out, and uh, you'll automatically be accumulating points. And after the giveaway, halfway through, we will reset the points and start it again. So you can actually build up points for the next giveaway next week. As far as introduction goes, my name is Rachel Messer. I'm a voice actress for anime and video games. Some of the video games I've been in are Borderlands 3, Smite, Paladins, Warframe, System Shock. Uh, Genshin Impact is the, the newest one that I can announce publicly. So keep an eye out on, on other things. Anime I've been in, My Hero Academia, Goblin Slayer, Tokyo Ghoul Re, Urusei Yatsura, whole bunch of this stuff. I have a website, but that's enough about me. Let's hear about Daniel. Daniel? I don't know why. It's the wrong way for me. It's mirrored. Daniel! What's hey. that? Hey! <laughs> hey, y'all. My name's Daniel. I am a theater a director, actor, and producer, and I am so excited to be here. You can find me on Instagram and TikTok at You May Begin and on X at underscore You May Begin. Um, but I'm just super excited to be here, and I'm going to throw it to Jonathan. Daniel, thank you so much. Why do I feel like we're news anchors? <laughs> Tell you guys, yeah, yeah. Uh, 100%. You're to you. the weather right now. <laughs> yeah. All yeah, right. Uh, hola, buenas tardes, everybody. Uh, my name is Jonathan. You might know me as Latinos Against Spooky Shit. Uh, super excited to be here. Phenomenal cast. Uh, you can find me everywhere as Latinos Against Spooky Shit. Go to my website, latinosagainstspookyshit.com. You can find all the fun stuff that I'm a part of and doing right there. Uh, and otherwise, uh, rolling dice is kind of what I'm doing and hanging out with. So uh, next up... Scott. Thank you so much. From the weather, it is currently a tornado outside right now. Hi, I'm Scott Azure, and you can find me on Twitter and YouTube at Scotty Laser. Uh, you may have seen me in different projects as a voice actor and a commercial narration uh, person. And uh, yeah, very excited to be here and rolling dice with these amazing people. Take it away, Brooke, with the uh, stock market. <laughs> You will not believe what... <laughs> uh, hey, everybody. Uh, Brooke Chalmers. I am a voice actor and voice director. Uh, currently uh, directing on Genshin Impact, uh, Star Trek Prodigy, uh, and some other n unnamed goodies. Uh, voice acting, uh, anime. I'm in uh, Demon Slayer, JoJo's. Uh, oh, my gosh. Um, uh, a ton of others that have, have left me right now. Um and yeah, super excited to be here. Been playing D&D forever, and yeah, this is going to be a good time. Uh, and without further ado, Bill. Hello, I am 10K Bill from 10K Productions right here on YouTube. Uh, that is probably the only place you've ever seen me before. If you see me anywhere else, uh, I'm sorry that you had to look at me. Uh, <laughs> really looking forward to getting into this. Uh, we only have one person left. Uh, Jess, our DM, take it away. Hi, I'm Jess. I'm the DM. Um, I, uh, you may have seen me on uh, TikTok um, at the Stormcrow shop. Um, elsewhere, I'm Stormcrow Jess. Um, and uh, I'm a former college professor, so I have some experience in wrangling unruly young adults um, and uh, getting them to do things that they, uh, that they should be doing. Um, 
And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to, uh, to playing with all y'all. It'll be fantastic. Yay. So who's ready to have a TPK? Yay! <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it's all right don't worry it won't be this day it'll that's it'll, our show it'll folks wait till Challenge it's accepted. Day. Let's go. <laughs> rocks fall everybody dies um <laughs> excuse me yeah so um yeah no we we will we will be doing not that um but uh, we will be playing um, in the Forgotten Realms. Um, if you're familiar with Forgotten Realms, um, it is the home of you know people like Elminster, places like Baldur's Gate and Candlekeep, um, and all of the things that uh, the video games you may have played are named after. Um, and uh, if you're not familiar with the Forgotten Realms, um, uh, they've, they're forgotten. Don't worry about it. Um, they will. <laughs> Sorry, this is, it's going to be that kind of stream. Um, it's a. Uh, it's uh, the the land of Faerun. Um, there has been a lot of lore um, uh, that's taken place there. Uh, we're going to put our own little spin on it. Um, but uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start on the coast, a little bit south of Candlekeep. If you know where that is, then great. If you don't, then that's okay. Just imagine a coastal town with sort of white limestone cliffs and beautiful stone houses clinging to the side of the cliffs. It's a smallish town. It's sort of small to medium. It's not a deep water port. It's a minor town. But as with as happens in, in minor towns, there's a lot that goes on that people don't necessarily want to do in larger places, like a Baldur's Gate or a Candlekeep. So it does tend to be sort of the center of, uh, of things that people might not want everybody to know about. And then, of course, some people, like uh, maybe one of our characters, uh, doesn't care who knows about everything that they do. Um, Scott. No, I'm just so, <laughs> definitely not me. Boop, 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 boop. Not, not naming names. <laughs> um, so, so imagine, if you will, a bird of prey circling high up above these cliffs. It swoops, it sort of swoops on air currents. It's golden hour, just before sunset. And the bird sort of thinks they see a fish in the water that they want to, they want to catch. So they kind of swoop down along the side of the cliff and they swoop past an elephant. Not really an elephant. A loxodon. She's quite old. She's not very big, but she's very determined. And she's walking along a cobblestoned path into town. Her name is Granny Attie. Would Granny Attie like to uh, to say a little bit about uh, about herself, or shall I talk to shall talk about her? Yeah, no. Uh, so Granny Addie stands at about uh, five foot six. She has a little bit of a hunch. She is a loxodon, so she's an elephant person. She's very old. Her wrinkles are deep. Her skin is this grayish lavender color. Her eyes are a very very light blue, almost gray color. Her hair is white and tied in a long mermaid, mermaid tail um, braid. Um, but there are some odd, um, like, spattering of colors as if she had her hair dyed purple or blue at some point, but hasn't cut her hair in a very, very long time. She wears robes that are purple and pink and a, ra a shawl. Uh, that is a very uh, like drama teacher esque shawl that is in a gradient of grays from dark to light from one side to the other. She has a withered gray staff um, that she's using mostly as a walking stick. It is it it looks very very old and cracked, and uh, she has a book at her waist that also seen has a very worn black leather. Um, but she's just walking and uh very taken by the the image of the of the town that she sees yeah and what she sees is a beautiful small seaside town the uh 
the, the houses are made of the same limestone, probably hewn from cliffs nearby or a quarry nearby. Um, they're, they're light in color, um, they're decorated. This is clearly a town that has seen some prosperity um, in, uh, in, in the decades past. And there's everything you could possibly imagine. There's a market square. There's shops selling, you know, there's, there's, <laughs> there's shops selling clothes and shoes and, and there's a bakery and there's a smithy and there's all the things that you would expect in a town of this size. Um, there's also an inn, a very large inn. It's about three stories tall. And a weathered sign says the cliff's edge because it is indeed on the cliff's edge. In fact, if you went, you know, if you went out, you could very easily fall, not too far. It's, you know, it's about two stories down into the water and the water's deep enough that, uh, that you wouldn't be, you wouldn't hurt yourself, but it would definitely be a bit of a daring thing to do. And speaking of daring things to do, there's a young woman sitting at the cliff's edge, dangling her feet, pushing herself closer and closer to the edge, right in front of the cliff's edge, daring the water to come up and take her, putting her arms out and saying, I'm going to get you! Now, who do you think that might be? Hey, everybody. No. Is <laughs> 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 me in again? <laughs> All right, Castian, take it away. Castian is, I'm going to try and remember my notes here because I have the memory of, what was I talking about? Um, Castian <laughs> is a roughly standing at five foot six wood elf. She's a kind of olive skin in nature. Her hair is long and wild with random things strewn in of it, in it, it looks intentional. There's some rings, there's some pieces of metal, there's some random sticks all about it. Um, she has a walking stick that she uses, but she mainly uses it to boop, so it's more of her booping stick. Inside of it, it's a, a long oak kind of branch that splinters out, and then the splinters come back together in almost a woven fashion, inside of which sits a gem. On her face, you see kind of leaves making, not necessarily a mask, but going from the bridge of her nose all the way to the top of her ears. It looks green in some light and silver in others. And currently, she's picking a fight with the ocean because how dare it think that it can come up here? This is my land. I have claimed it in the name of Castian. No. And I chuck some rocks at the water. All right. Let's see what the water does. Oh no, okay. I'm gonna drown. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Granny Addy so can begins. see you though. And so it begins. The TPK, we just talked about five. Let's go. Really just a session to roll up new characters. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is session one are. slash zero. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, no, the, the, the water stays where it is, does not eat you at this point. Um, it uh, absorbs <laughs> the rocks and takes it down to takes them down to uh, their their watery graves. Um, but uh, but yeah, the the waves are the waves are placid. It's not a very very busy. It's not a very choppy day on the ocean. the the uh, The sun is just starting to think about sinking down towards the horizon, towards its rest. But. Uh, but you, Castian, are yelling at the ocean, and you, Granny Addy, are watching this happen. And as you both stand there, or sit, or crouch, as Castian may be doing, there's a dock not too far from you. And both of you notice that there's a small, dilapidated-looking ship coming in. It lowers its fenders. Kind of, sort of bumps along the dock because it's not being uh, not being driven very well. Um, it, uh, you know, the the crew ties it up, and somebody comes off the ship. Who would like to come off that ship? We know who it is. Ah. Uh, all right. Take care of the ship, guys. And 
As you hear that, you see a man stand before you, six foot five, tall tiefling uh, with dark, light, bluish, grayish skin, uh, with his little leather armor that he's wearing around his waist and his chest hair kind of popping out a little bit there. Uh, and you see a man by the name of Damien Frost in front of you, long tiefling tail as he just points back to the sailor and goes, oh shit, ah, hang on. I hear this letter. Make sure you get this to the right person, okay? The right person. I'll know if you'd fucked up, by the way. And he hands it to the sailor. All right, boss. Is the right person that you said was the right person, or is it a different right person? It's the right person on the left side when you go back to the dock. Left side, not right side. I swear to God, if it goes to the right side, it's going to be a problem for you. So it's the left person? Left on the right side. No, fuck. God. Left side, okay? Please, left side. Do not make me come back onto this boat. Goodbye. Okay. Okay. Left, right person. Got it. And your uh, not very smart sailor uh, gives you a little a little salute. <laughs> That's getting as so he goes lost. To untie the dock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Damien, as he's walking off, he's like that. Yeah, that is that letter is gone. Fuck. <laughs> right into the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, you see, you see him kind of uh, tuck it, tuck it into uh, into his jacket, and 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 uh, and you sort of just barely the the wind carries a little bit of left, right, right person, left, left, right person, right, left, left, right. <laughs> this is not a smart silly you hired, unfortunately. Discount crew, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is, you know, it's, it's really find, hard to find good help these days. Everybody wants to be paid more, and, you know, you got to take what you can get. So, all right, so, Damien, you're going to come on to shore without your letter. All right. I hope he fucking goes where it needs to go. <laughs> I guess we'll see how, how that sailor's, <laughs> that sailor's yeah. cognitive process is Damien's goes. already in the process of writing a new letter. Oh, <laughs> As per my last letter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, you're about uh, 30, 40 feet away, you know, sort of... Uh, uh, getting still getting your land legs back uh, uh, coming onto onto dry land and uh, Damon you see uh, a uh, you know a sort of uh, small for a loxodon loxodon sort of elephant person um, uh, walking slowly as if she's quite old um, uh, into the outskirts of town into sort of like j just the very edge of uh, of, of where town or where the the road ends and town begins. And you see a very, very enthusiastic battle of wills and words between a young woman and the ocean. That it still seems to be to be going on, and and the young woman is just not giving it up. Is that is that young lady fighting the ocean? What? Where am I? What? Is, what is this place? Is that? What is that? Oh my god. Oh. Huh. An elephant? Excuse me, dearie. Do you, uh. I, 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 I look at Damien. Um, excuse me. Do you, uh. Do you know where, where we are right now? <sighs> Kinda. The sailor said he was gonna take me to Candle Keep. I oh. think we're here. I think I just came from Candle Keep. If I walked in a circle for a few days, that would not be good. <laughs> oh wait, no, it wasn't Candle Keep. It was the Sword Coast. I think. Oh. Honestly, he he has my letter and I don't think I'm getting it back. I'm really worried about the letter honestly at this point. And there there's a lady up there, I think looks like she is trying to attack something. I am really concerned that she's about to fall off into the ocean as well. Do not take that toad with me, ocean! I will come down there! 
Oh, excuse me. Where where are we right now? Land. You aren't lying. That's very <laughs> true. <laughs> oh, you hear I'm on taller weird... land than you are. If that helps, your land is is kind of it's kind of lower. You hear laughter coming from a. Uh... Uh, from a uh, if it's the ocean, I swear to God. <laughs> it is. No, 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 no. <laughs> it is not the ocean. No, there's a uh, uh, from from the the open uh, uh, a window behind the open shutters of a of a house uh, uh, quite near you, um, Addie and Damien. Um, and just sort of some some good natured laughter, um, and uh, and a woman shouts out the window. You're at White Sand. Oh, that's great. That where that's where I was supposed to be going. So I'm glad I got here. Um, excuse me. Um, that uh, sir, would you help me maybe get into the city? Have you oh, been no. here before? No, no. This is my first time. Uh, Damien, by the way, and he puts out his hand to uh, shake this woman's. Oh, Oops. I, 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 I put out my trunk to, I put out my trunk to shake your hand, and my trunk will shake your hand. Oh, I'm Granny. Um, you can call me Granny Atty if you want. Granny or Atty, whatever you would prefer. Granny Atty. All right. Nice to meet you, uh, Damien. Like I said before, we should. I think that lady's gonna fall. In. Ma'am, please step away from the cliff. You're getting too close. That sounds like someone who works for the water would want to say, who paid you? Nobody's me. paid me. Wait, oh. uh, she's paid me. Sorry, I, I, I don't, we should definitely get her off that ledge though, right? Um, I'll pay you to come down here. How much? 50 gold. Take, gold's pointless. I want acorns. I want real money. Oh, all right. I I reach into my pouch and I will pull out. I don't have acorns, but I have some seeds. You drive a hard bargain. I will come down off the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> and I will take the, the uh, seeds. The voice from the house uh, says, she's been there a while. It's a judgmental means... house. <laughs> <laughs> Not judging. It's just an observation. It sounds a lot like, like a judgy that. observation. You'd fight with the That's ocean, That's a you too problem. If it took your favorite pair of shoes from you. Son of a bitch, Ocean. Where are we going? Sorry to hear about your shoes. You, I'm not talking I to you, have... house. I am not talking to you. I'm not a house. Ooh. I'm a person in a house. That's what Excuse exactly a house would say that was haunted. Are you, um... Did you lose your shoes, Lovey. I lost my favorite pair of shoes. I have a different pair of shoes. It's okay. I bought them with seven acorns and a handshake. Oh, all right. That's a pretty I can... deal. Yeah. Well, acorns, um, where it's at. I, people keep trying to pay with this gold stuff, and I'm like, what does it do? Can you make trees out of it? No. Can you eat it? No. Can you make weapons out of it? I mean, yes, but it's very flimsy weapons at best. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, have you been in this town long? I'm in a town. I look at Damien and I say, <laughs> we're in a town, right? <laughs> he shakes his head. Yes, and it's, it's on town. land. Remember? You said land earlier. Yeah. Lands. I you can landed confirm in a town. we are on land. Which is a town. So you're heading in the right direction. Why don't we go get you a new pair of shoes? How about that? I love it. I got seeds, As... and I want to bet with the ocean, and I'm getting shoes. Everything's coming up, Castian. As you, uh, as you yell this, Castian, <laughs> that bird, that bird of prey from the very beginning, drops one of your favorite shoes in front of you, as it seems to have t picked it up in the ocean. Thank you, as Mr. Bird. See, birds, the enemy of the ocean, because they've conquered flight. Ocean can't even get on land, let alone air. That's fair. Ain't wrong. Granny's yeah. broken. Uh, I, honestly, I don't even know how to respond to that. Uh, you said your name was Castian? Uh-huh. 
Nice to meet you. I'm Damian Frost, and this is uh, Granny Addie. Oh, hello. I just got here. Have you been not in this town, but on this land for long? I have been fighting the ocean for many an eon. Our battle goes deep. Our rivalry knows no bounds. It tempts me. It toys with me. It tests me. It's an asshole. It I is. She might be a little drunk, Damien, like, <laughs> says to uh, Addy very, very quietly. <laughs> and so honestly... So Castian can't hear, her, hear him. <laughs> and honestly, we should probably catch up. Let's go in... Let's go. Create your rules. <laughs> <laughs> Granny regrets you, talking uh, to this person on the <laughs> Sorry. As as you as as you get ready to, to sort of walk in the direction towards town, you hear a small voice saying I thought I heard somebody talking about fatedness. What was in and again do you see a small rabbit person? He says, I'm very interested in fate. Would you like to introduce yourself, Harrison? I would. You see a three foot tall, well, a three foot tall at the top of his head, but four foot tall at the top of his ears, herring on. <laughs> and it matters. I am 25% ear, and no, I will not answer any further questions about it. Uh, <laughs> he is uh, white from from the chin down, um, but he bears a brown uh, patch um, from his nose that, that covers almost like a little helmet um, that covers up to his ears and down his back. So he's this, this mash of, of white and brown. Very simple tunic that he's got that he's just got wrapped around with some cord um, and a, a bit of a, a like a traveler's shawl, not quite a cloak. Um, and then he's got this large staff that sits probably around four and a half, five feet. Uh, and there's just this what you can see as a maybe a chunk of ore, perhaps a stone, nothing fancy or shiny, just kind of embedded in the top and some gnarled roots that have kind of grown around it. And, uh, Right, well, I would very much love to uh, venture forth into this uh, town, was it? Um, seems like you've mentioned a fate and the future and what, what have you, and I'd, I'd love to do some studying. You see, I'm trying to learn the secrets of the stars. You can't study the future. I just, I don't want to burst your bubble, Bunny. You seem very nice, but you can't study the future because it hasn't happened yet. <laughs> right, but I mean, you can study the stars no more than you can fight the ocean. That's true. You can also fight the stars. Are we fighting the stars? Do you want? I wish the stars? not. But if the we secrets are worth fighting for, I mean, listen. I don't know what the stars hold, so maybe they're bad. Maybe they're good, or maybe it just depends on who's reading them. Either way, I would love to find more. Do you want me to check you, you know? up there? I can do, I can pro I can try. I can't promise you you'll Chuck do me it, up to what? The, the stars. I do not throw me, please. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Do you know this town at all? Do you know where we might be able to get a drink and some meal or something? I've just arrived myself. Um and I I'm a bit of a shy traveler. I mean, this is the first time leaving my warren, actually. Uh, it's quite exciting for a herring on. Yes, yes. So, uh, you know, if it would do you kindly, if we could perhaps... But, by the way, sorry. Harrison, uh, Butterfax Rabbit on the third at your service. Um, and if you'd like, we could all uh, venture forth together until we uh, do part. Oh, yes. Hello. My name's Granny Addy. This is... My new friend Damien, who has been holding me up because I've been traveling for a long time, and this is Castian, who is just fighting the sea. Winning oh boy. too. I don't think oh. I've ever met a talking rabbit, by the way. Nice to meet you. He kind of jabs you on the shin. He's like, right. Well, first of all, herringon, not rabbit. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. I'll, kindly. All rabbits talk. <laughs> what are you talking about? 
And Damien looks at her, what? All <laughs> Harrison also goes, what? <laughs> <laughs> and the house, the, the person in the house goes, what? <laughs> Houses don't speak to he's, rabbits. He's just, he's just, yeah, he's just, uh, just eavesdropping on this very interesting conversation. I love this dude in the house, by the way. <laughs> this disembodied voice of, of uh, intrusive thoughts. <laughs> no, he's going to poke his head out the window. And he's a guy about 25, you know, sort of long, blonde hair, looks a bit unkempt, and uh, big, big brown eyes, and, uh, and kind of a, a long nose and, and a, a wide mouth. And he's going to say, you're, 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 I don't understand any of you, but this is the most interesting thing that's happened in town for the last three days since somebody got tossed off a boat. I want to hear that story. Yeah. Oh, Who got what? tossed off a boat? Somebody got tossed off a boat. Good story. Good story. All right. <laughs> it's a good, it was, he, he got tossed off a boat and then he went into the ocean, but he did not win his fight with the ocean. The ocean, so, you know, this is, it's a treacherous game. I'm doing some kind of God's work. I don't know which one, but I'm definitely working. Also, sir, do you know your house is haunted? It speaks, it's sentient. I would get out of there. Yeah, it's haunted by me. <laughs> I live here. Um, and would that ghost of you know any place to maybe get a drink or anything in town or where we should hit up as the kids say? Hit up as the <laughs> Nice, <laughs> Randy. I think we're gonna get along just <laughs> fine. <laughs> yes. I'll teach a you place to <laughs> perchance a place to uh rest for the for the night. Well as the youth say. We wanna get fucked up, man. I think I think everybody likes to rest, but if you want to rest, then you go to the cliff's edge. But not that cliff's edge, not the actual edge of the cliff. You go to the cliff's edge, the inn, where it's not actually the cliff's edge. It's a little bit back from the cliff's edge. Then it's a lie. And then you won't fall into the water. Well, let's go, everybody. But don't hit it. If you hit it, if you hit, if you hit it, then it's not going to do anything. It's made of stone. And it's not magical stone, it's just stone. So if you hit it, then you're gonna hurt yourself. That sounds you. like somebody it, who works for the stone industry, what they would say. I'm gonna go punch well, the in. You're right. I do work in the stone industry. Ah! That's how I know. He admits it! You are going to no! roll me a con save, please. I'm, I'm having, learning that Caspian is just a conspiracy the... theorist about everything. <laughs> everything. It's a 14 save. <laughs> All right, you 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 manage to you you kind of bruise your knuckles a little bit. You manage to get a, get away without having any actual damage. And the guy in the house is gonna say, "I told you, didn't feel good. Don't do that." Nobody's going to get mad at you, but it's bad for you. Again, that sounds like something that somebody who doesn't want people punching stones would say. Well, technically, the more you punch the stone, if it breaks, they'll have to replace it, and they'll have to buy it from me. And then I get more money. So you can continue to do that, but you're just going to break yourself, and I'm going to get more money. So that's up to you. But the rest of you, if you want a nice cold ale, that's probably where you want to go. You don't go onto the boat, because if you go on the boat, somebody might throw you off the boat. That's what happened three days ago. That was the story. They got thrown off the boat. We should go to the bar, I think. Right, yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I, Count I your think, lucky yeah. stars that we went on that boat. I was just on a boat. I didn't get thrown off. Don't worry. It's okay. All right? <laughs> you on that boat, Damien? It's a long... Let's go to the bar, shall we? <laughs> Let's just head that way. You don't want to worry about my boat, all right? Don't worry about that. But yes, I do uh, use that boat often. Let's go Great. to the bar. <laughs> the wink, the <laughs> wink, that often. <laughs> <laughs> so you go, so there, so so you go into the cliff's edge. It's about you know hundred feet away, and it is beautiful. It is clad with stone on the outside, but the inside is all wood. It seems like it was built. Quite a few years ago, at least at least 80 or 90 years ago, from Hartwood, which is the 
the really strong wood, they, I don't know if you know how they make heartwood, but they used to cut a circle around so that they, so that the, the center of the tree would have to be stronger and harder. And then they would cut down the tree many years later. So this is 